A dramatic scene in Swampscott tonight. The partial collapse of a seawall has forced the evacuation and shutdown of a restaurant at Kings Beach. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live in Swampscott tonight. And Tammy, uh, what's the status of that scene right now? Well, Chris, first of all, thankfully, no one was hurt, and it is just still unbelievable to see. Right now, you can see behind me, crews are still working to shore up that seawall underneath Mission on the Bay after that wall came crumbling down right into the ocean. A Swampscott staple now dangling over Kings Beach in danger of falling into the ocean. It was just after lunch at Mission on the Bay when the seawall gave way and crumbled down. The restaurant was quickly evacuated. And I had someone text me saying, uh, oh my God, are you okay? And that's when I found out. Kiri happened to be off work, but she got calls from her co-workers. The wall started sliding underneath the restaurant. I have a lot of affection for the location. I worked there before I was this version, Mission on the Bay, so you know, it was really appealing for me to come here and to start three weeks ago and have this happen is a little disheartening. From the sky, a gaping hole in the seawall could be seen as public safety crews and engineers try to figure out if the building is compromised. On the ground, crews sprayed cement onto the retaining wall, hoping to shore it up. Until the wall is fixed, the building would have to stay closed. It's scary, but I don't think anyone was hurt. That's the big thing. A shocked community couldn't stay away to see what happened. Beach is, is a wonderful asset for the community, but it can wreak havoc too in storms, and there wasn't even a storm today. The partial seawall collapse didn't just impact Mission on the Bay. A few steps away, the town just bought another property, Anthony's Pier Cafe, which was also affected. Crews shut down the courtyard area next to the restaurant and a lot. Many are now left wondering what the impact will be for the waterfront. Thank goodness uh, no one was hurt. You know, really got to count your lucky stars that this happened at a time where, you know, we didn't have a lot of occupants in that building. And back out here live, first responders believe erosion over time could have caused the collapse. Now, the cement that's currently holding up that seawall is only a temporary fix, but the town will be bringing in engineers to figure out exactly what the long term plan is to secure that seawall system. Live in Swamp Scott, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. All right, great information there. Thank you, Tammy.